think to swing a little more errantly and try and say, okay, well, I have to try and get an option and immediately timing the Witch Times to get a free punish. It's probably not as safe to gamble on that, especially against Kazuya. Yeah, absolutely. Three, and we're two, starting for the one, first time on go. Smashville. I am curious to see how this plays in the favor of either of the players. I think, you know, Ferb's tech is ever present when you're playing Kazuya and you're holding center. But being able to extend your combos on Bayonetta is what makes this kind of dangerous. But now, Lima doing a great job getting these continuations off stage. Hush Puppy just has to find a way to get back. And when does it end, Ducks? It's Hush Puppy still in a basket. Oh! Ooh! What a call out with that down smash. My goodness. That's where you don't want to be, especially on Kazuya, is off stage for Bayonetta. Wow. Lima just running a perfect setup right now, and these combos just aren't stopping. Oh, Another wow. kill from Lima. 40 seconds, two stocks gone, and now Lima just can relax with this lead. Running over it. I know this isn't exactly a great matchup for Kazuya, but <laughs> what are you going to do? I mean, you have to try. I mean, you have to find something that you're able to do in some capacity, but Wow, Lima just stuffing these recoveries from Hush Puppy. And right now, at, we talked about it before, this is a game to figure out what was working and what wasn't. Lima finding a way to get back. Down smash, not enough in this scenario. The Rage drives offline, but that hasn't even been a threat this game. Yeah, he's trying to throw out moves because he, he needs to get back into it. Hush Puppy is down in a bad way and just needs to swing, hit something if you want a chance of getting something out of this game. Lima still just hope, playing very controlled, stalling off stage, and almost baiting Hush Puppy to do something aggressive at ledge so they can get immediately punished. Back air doesn't close out just yet, though. Ozzy is heavy. But getting back to stage is going to be really hard. <gasps> Why wow. even bother edge guarding that way? I'll just back air you off the other side. That was a show of force from Lima, an absolute. absolute show of force on Smashville. The combos were so swift. At that point, Lima just kind of waited. They knew they didn't have to really get threatened by anything, and they can just wait it out. So I don't know if we're running it back to Smashville. I don't know what the change was on stages, but Hush Puppy has to make some rapid adaptations, and we're going to Kalos. Kalos is going to be a, a little bit better as Kazuya, you have some more options on flat ground, which is what you want. But you know, Bayonetta's going to be able to capitalize on it as well. So I, I, I'm not really sure if you had a good choice of stage selection in this matchup. I think it's just a tough one. I would think FD is taken off the table, but this is one of your FD adjacent stages that isn't town, but probably doesn't give Bayo too much in terms of pressure. At this point, Hush Puppy has to find a way to connect and at least get a combo starter. It's been the theme of Lima's gameplay so far is finding their starters and extending continuously. And the Rage Drive is offline before Hush Puppy's even able to use it. I don't think he's gotten an Electric Wind Godfist yet. Hush Puppy does not have a chance to get on stage to get presents to do it. Wow, Lima is just absolutely running away with this game. These combos have been so oppressive, holding Hush Puppy down. And now these are just continual strings. 83% off the board, Kevin. When does it end? I This is what I was asking last game, and I just don't think it does. You, oh, he lets you throw out an Electric Wind Godfist and catch Bayonetta mid-move. Are we sure we're playing Ultimate? I, is, I, you know what? I'm not going to say it again. You saw it on my whiteboard earlier. <laughs> you just got to throw it out. I mean, at, at this point, you know that you, if you can't get a scramble situation, you've got to get a lucky hit because the range that Lima's playing at with Bayonetta is it's disgusting. It's just disgusting. It almost makes you wonder what type of options Hush Puppy is choosing defensively or even if he's trying to swing out of these combos. But Lima, commanding lead, Fifth low percent on their second stock. It's a hell of a hill to climb for Hush Puppy. Oh, there it is. We've got a great start to the stock, Whoa. though. Not quite going to take a great DI from Lima. And what did you do with your stage advantage? You lost it. You're off stage. You don't have a jump, do you? Hush Puppy can make oh, it back. Oh, no, you Hatches. don't. And this is going to be tough. Luckily, you got back to stage. You have one more chance. 
<laughs> All right. I didn't know that's how that interaction worked. I didn't either, but huh. something interesting. We have Rage Drive online. That is a very interesting interaction that I did not know worked that way. Hush will be playing much more patient now, waiting out and just trying to control the center stage. But again, 115 on Kazuya, it still feels like it is a absolute, you're in such a hole against Bayonetta yeah. at this point. He wants to have his door to try to get this Rage Driver kill before, you know, we run into a more dangerous situation without Rage Driver. Uh, but. Lima's waiting it out. Lima said, you know, I don't need to interact with you. And Hushpuff <laughs> said, uh, yeah, you do. Well, now it's up to Lima to just continue their strings that they've been getting so well this whole set. Lima just controls off stage and takes that game. The scoreboard isn't as... I wouldn't say it's as telling as you would think. That was a really commanding game from Lima, but... Unbelievable. Again, were we watching Ultimate? It didn't feel like you, it, but that's really just skill of Lima. At this point. Yeah, I mean, Lima has improved at such a meteoric rate 